Hi there, how you guys doing? It's Pinata Pops. And it's Chanel. And today we have another unboxing. Because why not? What else do we do around here? Nothing. Nothing. We just sit here. Just sit here. And we wait for the mail. And we wait for the mail. And we unbox. And we unbox. And we show it to you guys. Now that's right. Alright, <laughs> so. <laughs> so. <No. laughs> so. We're gonna get started. You guys know the drill. Get to it. Let's go. First box is. I always get to pick the first one. Ladies first. We got. Another McDonald's. McDonald's pop. <laughs> Last video, I picked a McDonald's pop. And now Another we got one. Another pop McDonald's. Pop yeah. McDonald's. It is the Fireman McNugget. There's so many nuggets in this line. Uh, what do you guys think about the McNuggets? Let us know because for me personally, I don't hate them. I don't love them. They're just there and they're not so crazy good, but they're not so crazy bad. You know what I mean? But like, it's cool. There's there's a Target exclusive, which one of the nuggets is scuba diving or something like that. So. You know, they have different variants. This is a fireman, there's a scuba diver, what else? Is it? A rock star and tennis player, you know? So they do have different variants of different nuggets. I guess they have the whole family. Oh, and the cowboy um, nugget. So I guess they have the whole family going. Uh, again, I pre-ordered all of them. Just because I want to complete my McDonald's line, I order all of them. But uh, yeah, the nuggets, pretty cool. Pretty cool, they're very small. Not bad, not bad for a first. I'm actually happy that this wave is coming out. I, it feels like they just announced the first wave for me. I don't know why in my head it just feels like they announced the first wave. But uh, nice that they're coming up with a second wave. Hope they do a third wave because there's still plenty of characters to come. You know, there's still quite a bit, a few more. But uh, nice pick, nice, nice pick. Okay, so we get. Nothing. Oh, we got a little card. Collector Buddy. Gaming and collectible shop from Waterloo, Ontario. Standing two foot four, the wonder from down under, the Tasmanian Devil. No way, it's right. And it's the chase version. It's pretty nice. Wait, did you pick up the chase version or did they gave it to you? In no, I picked up the chase version just because uh, I have a pop in a box, like the regular task coming my way. And I didn't want to order like six to get one chase, you know? So I actually did pick up this one and we worked out a price. Luckily, I picked up something else from him as well. And I hope this is the other box that's with it. But he gave me like a deal, really nice price, and you know, great condition. So I did pick this up, eBay, but nice. eBay expensive. Depends on what it is. They have auctions sometimes where you, you can get stuff for, for free. You pay for shipping, and shipping is expensive. Depends on where you're. If you're just buying one pop and the shipping is like twenty bucks or something, it's like crazy expensive, of course. But if you pick quite a bit from the same person and the shipping cost is like 20 bucks or so and you got a great deal, right? So it all depends what you pick up, what the deals are and stuff like that. Only one, two more to fit in my collection. This is the Chase one. We are missing the regular one, but I did pre-order that one from Pop in a Box. So I'm just wondering when they're gonna restock to send me that one. And we're missing Marvin the Martian. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, we already got bugs. We got bugs. Swag hammer. Swag hammer and, and M3. M3. Yeah, so we're almost there. Yeah. Almost there. But isn't uh, Marvin like too expensive now? I think he is. Uh, last time I checked, there was a no. The color ones are so there's different like colors of uh, Marvin the Martian, and those are actually pretty expensive. I thought it was this one that was very expensive, but it's not. But yeah, the only difference between this one and the uh, common one is that for this one, here let me show you guys again so you know what I mean. This one, 
he has his teeth showing, you know, he's kind of like smiling, which in the common one, he's not. So I, I, I like this one. It's just a little detail, you know, his mouth is there, but that, I feel like that gives him his personality. If you guys see the Looney Tunes and all that, some old school stuff, that that's him, you know, he's always like that monster type of uh, devil. Uh, but yeah, so I like the Chase version better than the regular one last box again only three pops they're slowly coming in you know so bear with us we're trying to give you some content here and there's only one in here i think so there's nothing no, no, I got it. you got it Marvin the Martian, let's go. This is the last, the second last one. Technically the last one to go. So, I, I would like to say we finally completed the line. Completed the line for the Space Jam pod, which is great. Cause I, I, I personally actually wanted to get these before the second movie came out. Cause you never know, maybe the second movie uh, has these characters more in the spotlight. So they might go up in value. So again, I, I talked about it in my, in my last video when we got bugs uh, that I recommend that you guys get these pops if you can uh, right now. Just because, you know, you never know. They might go shoot up in price for some reason. You know, uh, this one is vaulted and three is vaulted. Swag Hammer, Taz, and Bugs are not. So pick those up if you can for a good price. I really recommend it and if you know they don't shoot up in price they're still really awesome pops but uh i can't wait for space jam 2 and that's a movie that i really like so i wanted to get these pops you know before it was too late marvin the martian really cool pop really cool pop sorta we finished the line we're only missing common one but that one's on its way i already have my pre-order ready to go but uh, Marvin the Martian, this is a really cool one. I really love the Looney Tunes. I wish I would have picked up more of the Looney Tunes. Maybe I will pick them up in the future, but uh, they're old school, you know? They're really old school, very funny. Everybody loves the Looney Tunes, who doesn't? And I can't wait for them to make more Looney Tunes pops because they have hundreds of characters. And yeah. They should make one for Tweety the Bird. Tweety, they do have a Tweety, um, yes, with the cat, and it's in a pop buddy. So Tweety's actually this small, the other one's the four inch pop. So we might pick that one, you really want it, I'll pick it up for you. I got you. I mean, but. you don't have to. No, I got you, I got you. But yeah, so only three pops again, but they're amazing, you know, and we finished the line, we finally finished the line, which is awesome. As soon as the new pops for the Space Jam 2 come out, I'm gonna pick them up right away and I really hope they have some exclusives or something, you know, some Funko Shop uh, limited edition or something, you know, because I really like this line. I know a lot of people really collect Space Jam, so very happy that in this video we got to finish up the line, you know. Do we show the complete line? Yeah, let, let's show you guys the complete line. We're, we're here, right? We're here. I just brought these three out just so we could show you guys the finished product of the Space Jam. We have M3. If you guys seen my last videos, you already know. Very nice pop. We got bugs. We got bugs right here. Another nice pop. Recommend you guys get it because he's still available. And Swag Hammer, right? Swag Hammer. Also a nice pop. To be honest with you guys, I don't think this character is gonna come back in Space Jam 2 just because he was the main villain for Space Jam 1. They sent him off to the moon or somewhere, I can't remember. I don't think he's gonna be coming back, but you know, you wanna collect the whole line. And right now, as you guys see, Martian and Taz came in. Just so you guys could see the final product of the line. But yeah guys, thank you. And we have a McDonald's pop on top. It's kind of, it's kind of left out, but it's okay. It's still a nice McNugget. So let us know 
what pop you like is it from any any of these pops or even the mcnugget you know if you like the mcnugget let us know if you are gonna pick up the space jam pops because i really recommend it and uh yeah thank you guys for coming to another video thank you guys for showing up thank you for watching this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up like and subscribe make sure you hit that bell button to get notified whenever we post a new video you don't want to miss out on another unboxing you know we always <laughs> do unboxing in this in this channel because what else could we do in here what we else? can't really go out so yeah so this is pinata pops and i'm chanel thanks for watching bye, bye.